did you come back for me? Oh, I see. You start as if you just talked to Pat. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Okay. In that case, let's head back to the Memorial Park because we still haven't finished exploring that completely. And uh, we can't talk to those two. Oh, yeah, I don't have any more pieces for you, Clancy. I'm sorry. I did not find any more flyers. My progress is still there. Okay, cool. Oh no, he's going to be in the doghouse. Uh, that one has way more dogs. And a bird that looks like Vincent Price. I would like to see a bird that looks like Vincent Price. Yes, I agree, Corey. That is a good way of doing it. Okay. Right, before we talk to him, let's explore this way a bit more. Because we didn't even get to see any of this. Teresa, hey, don't look at me. Oh, we had a question mark. There. Not question mark. What do you want to call it? Oh. What are they doing? Eat emergency. Two-ton Tony. Hey, ya kiddo, how you doing today? Me, any day above the ground, right? Snogging. <laughs> um, I, w I was going to say dogging, but okay. Um, <laughs> just a little mortality joke for ya, since I can only relate to my subconscious fears through deflection. Hi, Deflection, I'm dead. <laughs> I don't even know what that I'm doing. <laughs> Some days, though, are better than others, and today's one of the better days. You see, this big guy right here, this sweet piece of metal, is the Grill Maestro 300X, the undisputed king of the finest grilling technology man has ever known. Yep, can't wait to fire this baby up and do some proper firing. <laughs> Now all I gotta do is figure out how to start it, and cook with it, and hopefully stop it before the rising flames consume us all. Whoom! My students call me Mr. Mom Jeans behind my back, but you can call me Tony. Tell you the truth though, you can call me whatever you want, so long as you don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> I've punished my internal organs with intense meats and radioactive food colorings for several decades. My best years are behind me. <laughs> Pat. Of course I know Pat, that's one of my boys. The smaller one of them that wears a hat. He's a good kid, but a little skittish. Bit of a hair trigger on him. Between you and me, I think that bun could have used a little more time in the oven. <laughs> I convey affection through heartless critique. I learned it from my father. Hi, my father. I'm dead. <laughs> he has real problems. <laughs> the event. The event, huh? Not sure how much I can tell you about that unless you're talking about my wife stopping her yammering. Now there's an event I'd like to see. <laughs> well, actually, I love her very much and deeply appreciate the mutual respect and affection that is present between us. Sorry. I only know how to communicate in relationships through dated humor that stems from the sexism present in sitcoms. <laughs> Maybe I should start reading those square things with the paper? Books? Books. Yeah, I know, right? With a dad like that. Anywho, you seem like a gator that knows their way around a grill. Let's say hypothetically that I need a little bit of help getting this beauty of a machine going. I know my lips get a little looser when I hear the fine sizzle of meat being cooked to deadly perfection. So maybe you could lend me a hand, kiddo. This game may be stressful to me. Oh dear. Manic Pixie Dream Grill. Nice. Okay, problems keep spawning on this terrible grill. Hold the correct tool over the problem for two seconds to fix it. Okay, so fire extinguisher for fire. Fan for smoke. And blowtorch for snow. Watch out for special problems and obstacles. I've never known a grill to have a key start. What the heck? That is a deluxe grill. Oh, oh. Uh, that means that one, right? 
right? Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I think he needs to get his money back. This thing is uh, not a great grill. Okay, I think we're getting the hang of this. I'm gonna turn up the gas a bit and see if we can really get cooking. Oh no. Oh, shoot. I didn't grab the right one. Wait, how can I do that? He's on TV. I don't know what you need. No, oh, I'm trying to grab the fire. Oh god, there's too many things. I can only do so much at once. No, where? Is Stop skidding. Oh, crap. Where's my fan? How can I affect the things that are happening on TV? You, I mean, we're doing great. Just a little bit more and I think we'll have this thing at temp. How about we don't? How about we just go buy burgers from that stand? Oh god, what does Marty time mean? I don't know what Marty time means. I can't pick up anything. Where's my blowtorch? It's off screen. Oh god. Please stop walking in front of the screen, my dudes. Crap, where's my fire extinguisher? Where's my fan? Oh, it didn't want the fan. Okay. It's done? Is it done? I won! Yay! Oh god, that was so stressful. Um, Then you should have grilled thingies. And yes, I agree. Ah, that was very stressful. Amazing, ain't she a beaut? Totally not terrifying at all with that sheer amount of things going on or the little man in overalls that lives inside it. Crumbs indeed. Extremely normal. Oh jeez. <laughs> Deflection! Thanks for helping me out today, kiddo. About the event. I can't say too much, but I gotta brag about the balloons I got for it. My boy Pat just loves those colorful sacks of air. Probably why he loves his old man is so much too. <laughs> uh, my body is aging rapidly. No one can stop the forward cycle of time. See you tonight, kiddo. Eight sharp. Don't be late. Okay, it's winter. Not the time to stand outside and grill things. An excellent point. I, didn't, it, I don't like that they're, they're crying. And he is eating his vomit. That is not good. Hero. I was having an eat emergency, but I got pulled in by Mandolin Mandy's siren song as usual. I love listening to him play. And when he tells me to stop sitting so close in rhyming couplets. Hehe, <laughs> what a guy. Can I give him money? Oh no. Dollar's money, I feel bad. Put a coin into my hat. The song I play is sweet. And if you don't agree with that, I do not give receipts. Fair. Okay, I think we just got these two over here and then back over to Flappy Bird. Lil Giovanni. Huh? I'm not doing anything. I mean, well, that's not exactly true. I'm standing here. I'm existing somewhat. My snoot is running from ragweed allergies. I'm not doing anything that has to do with this soda machine, though. Nope, nothing at all. Oom! I'm Giovanni. Just a, a totally cool gator teen who hangs out at the park by himself with a soda. That seems very sus. Pat. Pat? You mean my cousin Pat? Yeah, he's great. We used to play a lot when he when I was a little kid, but I still think he's a lot more when he was a when I was a little kid. But I still think he's pretty cool. Sometimes he'll meet me at the mall food court court after school, and we get nachos. I'm lactose intolerant, so my dad doesn't let me have that stuff usually because it makes me blow chunks. But Pat doesn't mind holding my hoodie back while I spew. His face is a soda, huh? He's a total bro. The event. Oh, the, the what? The event? Cold Cola Dr. Soda Bug Cream. The fruit one. Oh, I don't think those are bubbles. I think those are spots. And yes, mood. I also cannot eat the cheese. Okay, okay. You got me. I'll spill my guts. When I said I wasn't doing anything earlier, it was sort of definitely maybe a lie. 
You see the soda machine right there? The truth is I'm a bit of a color con connoisseur and this fountain is a particular, in particular is a beaut. All the best, most classic flavors. Soda is so rare they stopped making them in the 90s. It's like time stopped here letting me pickle my pubescent organs in carbonated bliss. Once at this very spot, I mixed a soda combo so great that the last of my baby teeth disintegrated with a slide whistle noise. Sadly, no matter how I try, I can't seem to get the flavor right again. So I was kind of hoping you'd help me rediscover it. Maybe if we figure it out, I can help you out with something. Okay, so we have to mix <laughs> hooked on tonics. Oh dear. Uh, try to follow Giovanni's soda instructions. Move the cup to the right to see the recipes. Then to the fountain to add flavor. When you're ready, click on Giovanni to start his taste test. Okay, a little confused. You have my recipe card. Those are the sodas I've already invented. But how can I make something totally new and different? I don't know. It feels like a lot of pressure. I guess, um, can I taste the Dr. Soda? I can't remember what it's like. Oh, click. Okay, click. He's doing the wine mouth thing. Bleh. That's right. I remember Dr. Soda now. I hate this soda. It tastes like chemicals. I need to wash that taste out of my mouth. Give me the sick lemon. Dentist ire. Mmm, <laughs> yes. The sweet sugary rush of sick lemon. Sick lemon is the best. Most delicious, most addictive soda of all time. It's my very favorite. Maybe I can take inspiration from one of my old recipes. Can you look at my recipe card and make me a face melter? Oh, jeez. Okay, right. Uh, cool guy juice. Uh... All right, so dentists I uh, he did the S. He did the S. Uh, dentist plus lemon, sick lemon equals face melter. Inspiring flavor. Yes, this is masterful. You're a genius, past Giovanni. Let's use face melter as a base. But how do I make face melter even better? That's the question. Oh no, I'm cracking under the pressure of my own success. Let's try mixing Face Melter and Dr. Giggle together, maybe. Does that sound good? Right, okay, so Face Melter. So, Dentist plus Lemon, and then Dr. Giggler is Dr. Soda plus the Bug one. Okay, so... And then, I thought he didn't like Dr. Soda. Ew, there's actual bugs in it. Don't know what I expected, really. Blech. It's okay, but I expect it to be better. Take this and let me think. What's wrong with this soda mix? Maybe I'm just bad at mixing sodas. I guess it could be a weird flavor, though. Does Dr. Giggler have the bad flavor in it? The one from earlier? Yes. Yes, it does. Combine the two recipes again. This time, take out the flavor I didn't like. Okay, so that's Dentist Aya. Sick Lemon. And the Gross Bug one. That's perfect! You totally nailed it. In your honor, I'm going to name this drink Future Heartburn. Thanks. Thanks for your help. We did it. Oh, did it say IRA? Like an IPA. I get it. Sorry, I, I read it as IR. My bad. Wow, your soda mixing skills are truly a force to be reckoned with. Oh, jeez. I knew when I saw, saw you, there was a sticky, bepimpled teen inside you just waiting to be lured out to make the perfect sugary concoction. I've been preparing an extra special beverage for Pat. It's gonna be killer. Well, he's not gonna like that phrasing, is he? Killer awesome, I mean. Not like it'll kill him. He does get pretty startled, startled pretty easily, though. Sudden moves tend to make him dive, direct, <laughs> dive action movie style out plate glass windows. It's pretty cool. Thanks again for your help, Flavor Master. See you tonight. <laughs> I already like individual retirement account. Nice. Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? Oh, darn. We still didn't finish the park. The one with the hat? Hello, Pat. It's almost ten. Can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. Well, they gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. That can mean anything. Um, it says you get a free soup. Yay. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. 
I'm on my way. Ah. ah, don't bop me. I'm sorry. Oh, it's just you, my new friend. Sorry, I saw your shadow over me. I thought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending from the rafters to take me out. I know there's no rafters here, but assassins are tricky. They can improvise. That's true. Didn't you have dare when you were in elementary school? You know, dare. Dude, assassins really exist. Street smarts. At least, I think that's the acronym. I was absent a lot due to my nut allergy. It was tough times for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School. Well, that means that the um, the uh, the uh, Tin Lizzie couldn't do it either, because she's allergic to peanut butters too. Um, we can come back. I think you only have time to go to each place and talk uh, to do two games for each time you go out. I mean, oh, I see. Okay, cool. Well, well yeah, I know they sound nice. I mean. But they might just be fluffing you up, you know, buttering your bread roll to throw you off the trail. Sorry, I actually have been sitting here mainlining complimentary bread rolls the whole time you were gone. But maybe we should go to my hotel room. I think I'd feel a little safer there. And less loggy with bread. Let's go. Oh, shoot. I do not remember the passcode to his bedroom. Um, I don't know what that means. But thank you. Thanks for protecting me. It really helps to have someone walk me to my room. The wallpaper in here is a little intense. And it makes me feel like something is staring at me. But, I mean, there are eyes on it, so that's fair. What am I going to do? My heart can't take ten more hours of waiting. What's the event? What did I squeal the beans on? Cheese and crackers. Oh, how did you remember that so fast? Yes, he does need help. Uh, since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing and got a special lock on my hotel door room door. Just a little something I picked up at the hardware store. I was worried... I'd get so nervous that I would forget the lock code, so I saved it on my website, www.alligator.fun. So glad I planned ahead. If anyone has not been to that website, I heartily recommend checking it out. It is very funny looking. Oh, I'm going to need my keyboard for this. Let's get that ready. Oh, here we are. This is for sure my room. You can tell by the unobtrusive lock I installed. Very unobtrusive. You go to my website and grab the code so we can unlock it. That's www.alligator.fun. I really want to go inside and see if there are any more of those free mints left. Okay, let's see. So it's one, uh, sorry, nine, one, six, one, nine. You did it! Thank you so much! Thank you so much. <laughs> oh no! Ah! I can't close it! What's going on? Help! You gotta help me! I don't even like pink! Uh. Yep, definitely not his room. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hello? My word. This is quite the mess. Who are you two and why have you opened my door? Hmm? Who am I? I'm Pat and this is my hotel room. I installed this lock because my family is trying to rub me out. But this is my door, where I've installed a lock because my family is trying to rub me out. But that's, if that's true, my password still worked. Is your lock code 91619? Is your lock code 91619? We have the same code! And our families are both trying to kill us! Ha 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 ha! Thank you, and also yes he is. Ha 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 Much laughter. They really should be friends. So long, stranger. Perhaps in another life we would have been total best friends. Like ships in the night, Mr. Pat. Anyway, don't tell anyone what you've seen here or I'll come for you. Endlessly. <laughs> that sure was a string of unlikely coincidences, wasn't it? Yes, I feel like we need to protect that other one. Oh, I did not read that. I went very quick. Quick. 
I saw I hope and then I could not get the rest. Here we go. Ah, this is my actual room. They're so similar, no wonder I mixed them up. Yes, so similar. Nine, one, six, one. Thanks, I never would have remembered that on my own. Come on in. Oh, thank you, but because it's a palindrome, I managed to remember it. Whew, I'm so glad we made it inside. Now I can really try to relax a little. Sorry to distract you from the investigation. I'll text you again when it gets closer to 4pm, so don't forget to check your watch. You know, in case you get distracted doing a collection of menial tasks formatted in an enjoyable manner. Something like that. Bye for now. <laughs> he does, you're right. Okay, let's see if we can finish the park. <laughs> oh, wait, we've got some more pupils and I like putting them on her thing. Oh my, you're back already. Why, hello again, dear. Did you manage to take any family photos? I enjoy putting them on this tree. It is very fun. I like family trees. Okay, let's see. We got two. Okay. Right, you were... Oh, you are not in your place. Okay. Skids Valentino, 11. Helping out Mrs. Johnson on Thursdays. Right. Oh, shoot. Where'd you go? Uh, I'm very glad I like this game too. It's a really fun game. Uh, no. I thought you were cousins. Maybe you're this side cousin. You are this side cousin. Okay. Lil Giovanni, 12. Occupation puberty. I mean, it does consume a lot of time. That's dad, right? That's dad. Yes, that's dad. Okay, good. Tutan Downey, 51, retired dad, loving life. Okay, right, so we got it. We know where the bro is. We know where this one is. We just can't get them. And you told us where this one was, but I totally forgot. We got a few more here and here and here. We nearly finished it. We're doing pretty good. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Oh, yeah, that does explain a lot. Okay, you want to finish, try and finish Alligator Memorial Park, or do you want to go to the unsavory part of town on 9th Street Park? Oh, Okie doke. Okay, so we got to try a Flappy Bird, and I think there was a dude behind the counter I did not click on. Hey, it's Babyface Constance. Eh, did you say something? I see you over there eyeing my cards, young'un, but I ain't giving them to you. Last time I was giving my cards away was long before you were born, and now look at me, I'm old. See what sharing gets you age irreparably. One day your skin is sucked close to your skeleton, then you turn around and boom, your jowls are hanging down past your collarbone, which are hollow now inside. <laughs> we ain't want your cards, Constance. Let's do the bra. Is that what you want? Hollow collarbones with a nest of daddy long? Oh god, I wish I hadn't read that. Now I'm going to have intrusive thoughts. And stop staring at my cards. Okay, we already talked to her. Although, you could play me for the information, as long as you don't stare at my cards. What do you say, kiddo? Think you can beat the old maid? Constance, please. Uh, we played her already, didn't we? Yeah, we won. We, we don't need to play her again. Savage. Mm, fine. You were going to stare at my cards anyway, Vamoose. Welcome to Eat Emergency, where your hunger is sated with urgency. Today's specials are 12 cc's of sliders, which come with chips or saline. You can add a side of salad if you meet your deductible. That does not seem like the best way to do food. Okay. Right, we can do this flappy bird. Okay, see you in a sec. Brolene, 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 Brolene. I'm begging you, do please give me a hand. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It is, it is, the struggle is real. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, right. Yes, we must get this bird nice and beefy. Get that smallness meter up. Damn it, you don't go down fast enough, bird. Damn it. We 
wish there was a way to make him go down faster too. I mean, aside from hitting his head on the ceiling. <laughs> my true strength is my emotional maturity. This is just an expression of my larger commitment to self-care. Oh no, there's a round three. Why? Why are you so- Oh god, is that the Hulk? What the fuck? Oh god, I can't see what's coming. Oh god, I can't see, it's too fast. Anything I'm getting is a total accident. Please stop shaking the screen. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <sighs> Try that again. Oh no, I'm gonna have to start from round one, aren't I? Oh, you butts. You are butts and I hate you. Okay, we did that one. Okay, we can totally do this. Wish that giant bloody Hulk arm wasn't there. Makes it very hard to see what's coming. Sorry, I'm not going to be talking much. Holy moly, we did it! Terry, bro, I'm so proud of you. Please don't let there be a round four. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, guys, we did it! <sighs> oh, jeez. Uh, why does Terry not get a family bird? I'm flexing my eye sockets as hard as I can to keep the tears from flowing, but it's only barely working. I guess maybe what really needs to bulk up is my ability to deal with positive emotions. And also my carve so I stop falling over from my ballast like core. Oh, thank you. I did need I did need to focus, yes. <sighs> About the event tonight, well, it doesn't have a way in, I can tell you that. Don't worry though. I'll bring my own scale. And I've only been eating protein bars and dehydrated iceberg lettuce in prep. That sounds disgusting. I gotta love my best for my little bro. Thanks again for helping out me and Terry here, bro Livia. Every time we're popping a particularly gnarly squat, we'll make sure to think of you. Ah, oh, bros, we did it. Okay. Bros, we totally finished Park at last. Whew. Now we can check out another place. We can go to the unsavory part of town, or 9th Street.